delicious. That was very well done because you had one that landed right on the little punching bag at the back of your throat. My uvula. Your uvula. Mm -hmm. And now you've got some stuck in just to the back of your collar. No, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this, uh, either, either that or you have the most colourful dandruff I've ever seen. Look at that. <laughs> Wonderful job. They're naps. They're... <laughs> now, uh, of course, the, the film, the title of the film pretty much speaks for itself. But uh, tell everyone a little bit about your character in this one. The guy's name is Andy Stitzer, mm. and clearly he's 40 years old, has never had sex. And in that scene, um, he is trying to keep up with these other guys who are telling these sex stories and it becomes apparent very quickly that he can't do it. He's referring to touching a woman's breast for the first time like, well, it's like touching a bag of sand and the other guys are clearly not buying it. So now when you have to uh, play a role that requires you to be a 40 year old virgin, how do you research a role like I didn't that? have sex for 40 years. <laughs> I just figured that was the best way to go about it. Why not? So <laughs> No, what actually, you, you know what? To, honestly, we, we read case studies. We read case studies about middle-aged virginity, found yes. out that these people were not unlike this guy. They're not damaged or weird. They're just people who, for one reason or another, missed out on opportunities and, and decided not to even try anymore. So what were you like? You know, are you, a, are you a bit of a ladies' man? I don't I know if you saw me... Uh, well, I saw you backstage, actually, oh, yeah. in the footage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she ruined my tie. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, honestly... What has happened? She ruined... She had a brooch on, and she hugged me... And we were connected for a long time. <laughs> and I was very upset. <laughs> now, how, you're, you're a married man. So in, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so in, in the, when you play a role like this, yeah. obviously you, you're kissing a lot of women in the film. <laughs> and I wrote it. <laughs> yeah. So that so, goes over well at home. How, do you, how does your wife deal with that? Well, it was funny. We went, she had never seen the movie until the premiere. And we sat there and we were watching this first big makeout scene. It's the first time she's ever seen me make out with someone, obviously, and uh, I felt her whole body just tense up in the chair. And she knew that I'm not that good an actor. <laughs> I was a clearly enjoying myself way too much. And uh, so there were words at home. And, and what about, uh, you know, when you have a, a, a day where you've spent the day on set, mm -hmm. kissing all these lovely ladies, rolling around in beds, is it half, hard to come home Well, yeah, I came... she's had a bad day? Oh, and... Well, we have two little kids. We have one and a four-year-old. I came home and I was complaining, ah, oh, what a long day. It was 12 hours. And she was like, you, you had your mouth cleaned out by <laughs> the most gorgeous women in the world, and I took care of two kids all day. So she has absolutely no pity for me whatsoever. <laughs> Now, actually, something else you had to go through as well was uh, the, uh, there's a waxing scene in the movie. Yes, there is. Uh, we've got some footage of it here. And this was not set up in any way, shape or form. This is, this is real reaction. This is real waxing. We did, they, we did this in one take. Neil, you notice? See how red my chest is? Now, if you look really closely in the middle, you can see blood pooling right there. Yeah. Just little beads. Little beads, little beads, of, beads blood of blood pooling to the surface. And that just frightens me to even watch again. I have such a respect for women for being able to do that. But how do you, do you, how do you prepare yourself for that mentally? Because you you're obviously you've you're... never waxed and you I mean, I've got hairy legs. Look at that. That is like I'm wearing a stocking. Right. Look at that, right? I once had to tape up my ankle. Mm -hmm. I'd sprained it. And pulling, and that's just tiny little sparse hair. That's the only pubic hair I have anywhere on my body. Right. <laughs> I have to grow my armpit hair long and comb it over. Not like you. You've got this nice manly rug. Oh, I could comb my chest hair over to my back. <laughs> On the evolutionary chart, I'm the guy who's kind of like that. Um, it, I'm, I'm a pretty hairy guy. And, and all of the women on set were saying, you know what, you might want to take some Advil. You might want to cut it down a little bit so it doesn't hurt so much. And of course, I was being very cavalier. No, it's going to be fine. I'm a guy. I can take it. About five seconds before they started to rip, I thought, this was the worst idea I ever had in my life. But there was, because you had five cameras going at five once. Five cameras set up, one take, because it just doesn't grow back that quickly. <laughs> and, and you can see in the clip that everyone on the set is laughing. The three guys behind me, the woman who's doing it, are in hysterics, because I'm in excruciating pain. And it's, I'm not acting, I, once again. This is not something you could replicate. And, and she wasn't a real beautician either, was she? Not very good at it. No. <laughs> um, she, wasn't she just an actress who had waxing, who had waxing ability? <laughs> yes. 
Yeah, no, she, this was not her forte. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And this one part where she starts to put it over my nipple. Now, yes. A real waxing technician puts a little oil on your nipple before they do that. Right. So, so I, I shrug as if to say, that's right. Right. I have no <laughs> idea. As you know, yeah, mm -hmm. because you have mm -hmm. your nipples waxed all the time. Why wouldn't you? Um, well, you're supposed to oil it so your nipple doesn't actually come off on the gauze. <laughs> she didn't oil the nipple. So when she pulls on that one, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much hanging by a thread, if you know what I mean. <laughs> And then you're walking around with, uh, as we could see there, it looks like a smiley face. It does. On, on, on your body. How, did you leave it for a while? Did you decide to get the whole lot done after that? Oh, I think it's a very sexy look. Mm. I, why wouldn't you leave that? My wife, again, was horrified. I came home that day, and I had what was dubbed the mano lantern It was, <laughs> it's two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Um, I think it's, yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> and see, that was right after the nipple pull, as if I'm not mistaken. Even the women are going, oh. It was a really stupid thing to do. <laughs> and it was my it, idea. Again, you wrote it oh, and put it God. all on yourself. I know, I did. Uh, now, uh, before you go, because I know you've got, uh, you know, a lot of people will know you from various characters that you've done in various movies and television shows, but there's one that, I, that I've heard of that uh, I would like for you to, to perform for us now. It's oh, okay. a character called the, the, the German Who Says Nice Things. The German Who Says Nice Things. Uh, could, you, could you give us an example sure. of this May character? Sure, may I stand? Yeah. Okay. This is the German who says nice things. It, and how did it, this come about, this one, out of interest? Um, I just thought it would be funny to have a German <laughs> say nice things. Because <laughs> it doesn't happen that often. This, this camera? It's right down there, if you would, please. Let's all pile into the minivan and get some frozen yogurt! <laughs> it was a pleasure babysitting Kevin! <laughs> you are not getting older! You are getting better! <laughs> Something like that.